The video I've got together today is one that's pulled together quite a few different bits in the preparation of my tank to put a base coat and a clear coat on it. So I'll go through some of the steps in this video of how I initially sanded it, put some primer on it, put some filler on, put some more primer on it and hopefully at the end of it I'll get a base coat on it and a clear coat. I'll put in the comments the quantities and the actual products I've used just for doing the tank at the moment although when I did the initial coating of primer on the tank I actually did it when I was doing some other parts as well which you might have seen in another video. Um, I've got a nice Sealy spray gun with a separate regulator so that's always useful to have something that's a reasonable quality product using measuring cups and filtering all of which you'll see in different parts of the, the video um, so I hope you enjoy this I hope it's something that's useful to you and do have a look in the comments because it's important I think for the measurements of things that you might find useful so I'm putting the base coat on, I'm going to give it a nice wet sand with some 400 grade wet and dry. The trick is get it nice and wet. It feels really rough at first. You might even be able to hear. It softens up and you feel it goes smoother. And that's what you're really looking for, is just to make it that little bit smoother. worth spending some time doing this and it's quite satisfying and at this point you might find something that means I'm going to do some more filling so you do have to have a look also you've got to be realistic there's a little lump here and I don't know if I could get rid of that so I think where it is it's not going to be too bad so I'm going to I'm not going to worry about that one however if I found a big dint here I might do something so what I'll do now, I'll hose this off and clean it, let it dry, have another look, then maybe wet sand it again. I'll do that maybe a couple of times until I'm happy that it's ready to have a base coat and some paint on. Now you've got to remember, you are using chemicals if you're painting. I always get the data sheet and look at the data sheets. It tells you what the mixes are, it tells you any safety precautions you've got to take. I know with things like the 2K, you've got to be really careful. You don't want it in your lungs. I always make sure I'm using a good respirator when I'm actually spraying. Sometimes you perhaps should use it when you're doing some of the mixing. I try to get the prep done as well as I can before I'm actually ready to spray. If you're using 2K, it has a hardener. And once you've mixed it, it has what they call a pot life. So you've got to work with it within that, which might be an hour, might be two hours. But, you know, once you get to the end of that pot line, it starts to turn into something solid. That's a bit of clear that was left in the pot for perhaps a bit too long after I've finished, obviously. So, but with base coat, where it's only mixed with thinners, you could mix that. You could perhaps buy it all pre ready pre-mixed. I've given this can shake after shake after shake. And... Having used the data sheet for this, I know that I want to make 150 millilitres altogether. So it's 80 millilitres of this colour and it's 70 of the thinner. Now you could go up to 50-50 with the thinner or you could go down to perhaps 30% with the thinner. Making it so that it's a reasonable consistency, it sprays better. So I want 80. I originally bought half a litre. I've sprayed the air box, I've sprayed the side panels, I've sprayed the headlight, I've sprayed the ears, I've done the side panels twice and I probably used just over half of it. Yeah, so just so you can judge how much you might need. So I want 80. Whoops. Ha. Just 
stop me making too much of a mess this. Just by pressing that down there. And now I've got a handy little spout to pour it. Gives me a bit more control. side so I've got my 80 and then I need to put 70 in this so that'll take it up to 150 so this is 2k thinners I always pour quite a bit out because before I start spraying I'll spray some of that through the gun just to check the settings and everything and then I'll come and empty it out again uh, also if you need to clean something along the way it's handy to have it to hand and failing that, you'll always use it at the end when you're cleaning your gun. There we go. I really should get some stirring sticks, but... Now with this paint, I think you're looking for a certain viscosity. And sort of, the wisdom is, if it runs off the, the stirrer and then starts to form drips after about two seconds, it's about right. No doubt in the comments I'll get flamed for that. I think that's going to be okay. I'll give that a stir again I'll filter it before I put it into the gun. Um, but. Basically, I'm ready to go with that now. Final thing before spraying, get some panel wipe. And the idea is to get rid of all of any grease, fingerprints, anything else that's on here. Now, you can be quite liberal with this. It just evaporates. Off. I always check the gun out first. I've put some 2K thinners into it. It always seems hardest the first time. We're on. I have my compressor set on full chat. On mine it's a 10 bar one. It's a 50 litre one. Um, so full chat. Now there's regulator on it. So the pressure it's actually spraying at now that you can adjust that you want to adjust for this I want it under two bars I think I'm happy with that now the amount of fluid that will go through is controlled by this one at the back Put a mark on it so I can see how far I can go. So just there, nothing at the moment. Not like Rudely interrupted by the uh, compressor. So, it's just under two bar. Marker on here, and what I'll do is I'll open it up one and a half turns. So, when I first pull the trigger, get air, and when I pull it all the way, 
get a spray. Right. Might need to fiddle with that to get the right amount coming through. What is the right amount? If it's working, it's right. This one adjusts air from the sides that gives you either a cone or a straight fan. You actually want a fan. So it's fully turned off. I'll turn it on about half a turn. It's looking good to me. Yeah, I can see that it's it's like that. Can you see how it's yeah? I think that's gonna be good to go. So I'm happy with that now. What I'll do is I'll drain that, get ready for the colour coat. Right then, so what I did was I did a lightish coat first of all with this, left it for the flash off time which it says is five minutes with this uh, particular paint, I left it a little bit longer than that, that means the solvent that's straight in it mostly dries off, it'd actually feel dry to the touch. I then put quite a heavy coat of this on um, and left that a little bit longer to flash off. And then the final bit, a tip I picked up off somebody on YouTube, I can't remember who, so I can't give you a shout out, was to put a very light misting coat of this on. Because it's a metallic, it'll let the, the metal flakes stand up a little bit. You've got to be a bit cautious. You put this misting coat on, you really shouldn't give it any kind of a wipe afterwards before you put the clear coat on. So I've done that. Now, I'm going to leave it for the best part of an hour, about 50 minutes. Um, to let the solvents flash off as much as possible before I put the clear coat on. If I rush and do it too soon, I'll get um, a thing called solvent popping. It's where the solvent that's still in it pushes its way through the clear coat. It's a real bugger because your paint will look beautiful and then when it dries you see all these little flecks like pores in them. Um, so I'll clean the gun, I'll give the gun a good clean, I'll make myself a cup of tea. I've already checked the time, I'll tuck my toes and everything and I'll really put off, put off, put off before I go and put that the clear coats on. Um, the clear coat's 2k so I don't want to mix it until just before I'm doing it so I'll show you how I mix that next. Uh, I'll get on with cleaning the gun. best part of an hour now so what I'll do first is I'll put the gun back together I need to make sure it's nice and clean ready for a clear coat I'll do exactly the same as I did with the base coat I'll put some 2k thinners through it first put that in make sure I go all the way You can see my marks facing upwards, permanent marker. Give that a good clean through already. 
This is a 1.4 nozzle, which for base coat and for the clear coat I think is great. I think for a primer it probably would make more sense to use a, a slightly bigger nozzle, a 1.7 or maybe a 2. But when you've only got one decent gun, you have to make do. Right, so I'll leave that, I'll set that when I've got some thinner in it. poured slightly more, 110, of the actual coating, the clear coat. I've got just over 50, perhaps uh, 55, of the hardener. And then I'll pour 30 centilitres of the 2K thinner that came with it, not my other 2K thinner, into the hardener one so that all the hardener's gone in. Right, so that's easy enough. Once I've done that, I've got a pot life of two hours, I think, with this, but really you want to be spraying it within an hour. Um, the flash time is five minutes like it was with the other. So that means when you first sprayed it, you need to leave it five minutes before and put another coat on. What I tend to do, and if I repeat myself afterwards, I apologize, is I tend to put a light coat on, then a heavy coat, and depending on how it's looking, I might put a second heavy coat on with at least a five minute gap in between. You don't put a last misting coat on with this. Um, and I've found that sometimes you're spraying it and it doesn't look particularly good and then it suddenly all just flattens out and starts to look quite nice. Um, but we'll see how I go on with this one. So, hardener, clear coat. And then I need to put 30 centilitres of this. all the hardness out of here then I can reuse the cup with thinners. Trusty stirring stick. I think that's looking good. You get a little bit of a run and then you get some drops. Yeah. I'm sure there's much better ways of doing that. I've been out and sprayed some thinners through it. Just give that another quick stir. It's a lot better than when I originally put it in there. new filter you'll find you can't reuse them you get confused about which pots are in so when I've used one and I've used the filter I always put the filter back on top so I know what was in it all right let's see how the clear coating goes
that was 180 centilitres of clear coat, a light pass, a heavier pass and then another heavier pass. It looks actually really nice. But unfortunately, spraying outside, I've got a, I think it might be a little insect here and the odd fleck of tree dust or something. Hopefully they'll polish out. Overall though, I think it looks like a really good job. I think by the time it's dry, by the time I've given it a good polish and perhaps a, a light sanding with some 2000 paper, I think I'll be very pleased with that. So that's the end of this one. Thank you.